Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader Funding Challenge. We're going to continue the series. This is the end of the third week. So I've had the accounts for a total of a month, but I also got funded on this uh, 250k account. I don't know if my face is in the way. My name, Elite Class Funded Trader 250k Account Futures. So we got we secured that one as well. But this video is not about that. This video is about Apex. Let's pull up the picture here is the uh, Apex accounts. At the bottom you can see the PA accounts. So we now have six PA accounts and these are the account balances. Real quick though, if you wanna learn about the strategies that I'm using to trade with, I have a video for you that I created. I just documented all the strategies because I have a lot of people asking how I trade or how am I able to be this, this consistent. I'll look it up in the cards. You can learn all about my strategy and how I personally trade NASDAQ. So let's continue. We have uh, six PA accounts here, and then we have uh, the evals here, and you can see the days. So, you know, once we get to 20 days, then we've had the accounts for a month. And so in total, you know, these 18 accounts, we've had them for about a month. And if you are new here, basically I started this challenge three weeks ago filming, but I've had the accounts for a month. And, you know, three weeks ago, they were at 50,000 or 51,000, and now lots of six of them are PA accounts and then 12 of them are almost there just need to get about one or two wins and everything will be funded so I personally trade 18 funded accounts and two live accounts as well as my 250k funded account so these are the accounts I trade I use a trade copier to trade 20 accounts at once with the click of a button I've been using one contract for size and um, this past week, we captured around 55 points on the Army with NASDAQ with one contract, which is a little over $1,000. So we we're up just over 1000 on all the accounts in the past week, and that is awesome, right on track. And that's what I like to do because I'm using signs where my risk is half a percent. And I want it to be half a percent because I'm able to take uh, 10 losses before blowing the accounts, 10 losses in a row with this level of risk. So my strategies are honestly about 80% win rate and uh, one to one R. Some of them are up to two to one R, which means that typically I might take a trade, stop loss could be 10 points on NQ, but my take profit is 20 points. But most of the times it's a one to one, 10 point stop, maybe 10 point TP, right? And I like that one contract, you know, half a percent risk because with my 80% win rate, I would have to lose 10 times in a row to lose an account. And what I do is I go over to the risk of ruin calculator. If you never try this, you know, I think it's something that everyone should do. It's a great exercise. So if you have certain strategies that you know are profitable by a specific win percentage and a specific risk reward ratio because you've done all the back testing over months and months and you have a lot of data, then I would head over here. So Anyone who tells you that they have a strategy with you know 80 or 90 percent win rate and like a two to one or a three to one risk reward ratio, I think uh, nine times out of ten they're they're full of it because it doesn't really work like that. Strategies typically, if you have a strategy with a really high R, as in three to one, five to one, ten to one, the win rate is like 50 percent or less. It's just there's just no strategy that has say 90% win rate, but your average or risk reward ratio is like a five to one. You won't find it. But you can find 90% and a one to one. You can you can build strategies like that, all right? You can find a 80% and a one to one or 80% and a two to one. So let's go, you know, I have plenty of strategies, but combined, it really does average down to about 80% win rate and a one to one uh, risk reward ratio, right? And say that uh, you know our max drawdown that we're allowed is five percent on the fifty thousand dollar accounts. So with Apex, you have fifty thousand dollar accounts. If you take, uh, if you lose twenty five hundred, which is five percent, then you lose the accounts. So you have five percent max drawdown, which means uh, I don't like to risk more than one percent, but I'm risking half a percent. So let's say I take uh, thirty trades. You can say like, how many trades is it going to take to get profitable? Well, on an 80% win rate, if you take 20 or 30 trades, you will be funded and you'll have profits. 
regardless. If you have 80% room rate, one on one, take 30 trades, risking that amount, max drawdown of that amount, uh, you'll be funded and you'll have money already. So in those 30 trades, you have to see what is my uh, risk of ruin. So if you have one to one, 80% uh, win rate, this is 0% chance of me losing the account. Okay, 0% chance because I would have to lose 10 times in a row in those 30 trades. Okay, so but if I doubled my risk and I went with two contracts, then you would say, okay, even then, you know, very, very unlikely to lose the account if I did two contracts. But then you start saying, okay, what if I did, uh, you know, three contracts, right? If I did three contracts, okay, there's a 5% you know, chance of peak value drawdown in those 30 trades. So there's a 5% chance of me losing the accounts. And this is if you are robotic, right? It, when you factor in human error, you might as well double these numbers. So instead of 4%, you know, instead of 5%, it's about 10% chance because who knows, you know, humans are humans. You can have hum human error, of course. So going by 0.5% risk, I did the math and I am going to be funded. It's just, it's, it's so, unlikely based on that my data and my strategies it's extremely 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 unlikely for me to lose the funded accounts uh, ever if i continue with this risk and you can just run the numbers if you go to a calculator we go to google we go to calculator if you start to run the numbers i got 20 20 accounts 21 if you count the uh, elite trader one that's 250k account but 20 accounts you just do the math if you're doing one contract I did 1,000 on each account, you know, 50, 50 points a week. So 50 points a week, 1,000, that's 1,000 times 20 accounts, right? 20,000 a week. So 20,000 a week and your profit split is uh, 90%. So you get about 18,000 per week with a, it's pretty much 0% chance of losing these accounts if you maintain this level of risk and you continue to implement the strategies that you're using. So I don't know about you, but I'm fine with this because this also lets me know that I won't go into tilt because if I take a few losses, I'll be okay because the loss is small and I'll not be able to make it back. But if I doubled my size and I took a few losses, maybe I go on tilt because I'd be afraid that I'm going to lose the accounts. I got to make the money back, make some poor decisions and then actually lose the accounts. So with my current layup and my current setup, I don't personally see how I would lose the accounts unless I went on tilt and unless I made a bunch of mistakes and didn't follow my trading plan. And I'm saying all this because the more I tell myself this, the more I read it and the more I look at my stats, the more I believe in it and the more I do actually stick to my trading plan and to my trading rules because it doesn't make sense not to. 18,000 per week after the profit split is fantastic. There's no reason for me to increase my size unnecessarily on these accounts if I can see the potential of you know, 50,000 a month, right? 50,000 a month, that's not something that's it should be taken lightly, right? So just maintaining the low size and we're gonna keep this risk the same. Follow along the journey if you wanna see more updates. I'll do one video a week updating the Apex Trader Funding Challenge on the road to the first payout. Uh, we'll just go back one more time just to wrap up here are the accounts uh, pa accounts this pa account has 1500 in profit this one has not about a thousand this one has 500 in that and then we have three that we just got approved uh, this past friday so we haven't traded them yet and the rest of these are the evals and the lowest one is at uh, 2610 in profit so we need 400 dollars in profit to get them all funded uh, so I'm personally confident that this week we will have all 18 Apex and we'll have 20, my, my two accounts, so I'll have 20, 21 to be exact, 21 accounts, live, real money, trading, going into January 2024. And that'll look like over 1.1 million in funding, so over seven figures in funding going into January 2024. And you'll want to just follow along the journey and see the payouts, see how the trading goes. But I'll be fully transparent and let you know if we, you know, if we blow the accounts, we take losses or what goes on there. So subscribe for more videos just like this. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. And look out for the next video coming out Wednesday night.